Hey guys, this is Fiend Friends 91, and I'm talking about Star Wars. Why? Because a new Star Wars game is apparently being developed by Ubisoft. Because apparently Lucasfilm Games and Ubisoft have partnered together to make an open world Star Wars game, right? So you know what that means, my Star Wars game fans? That ga that that companies other than EA can make these games. Now, people, based on this article, because they were saying it's a 10 year agreement between Disney and EA from 2013. So the question is, did Disney somehow buy EA out of the agreement or, well, when you think about it, if Ubisoft and Disney are just starting to develop this game now, it probably won't release till around 2023, which will be 10 years after the 2013 deal, I believe. So perhaps, I'm not, listen, I have no info on this. This one is just my personal speculation on the matter. What, was the, what if the deal was only exclusivity for games that are being published, which meaning that they could start making them now and then publish them when the deal ends in 2023. Or maybe Disney found a way out of the deal. Disney had this to say on the matter. EA has been and will continue to be a very strategic and important partner for us now and going forward. But we feel like there's room for others. So they didn't really specify whether or not they got out of the deal early. Either way, I'm glad that other studios are making Star Wars games because let's just face it, I'm not dissing EA. I think EA as making a Star a, I think EA could make some Star Wars games and they can make them pretty fun, right? But giving them exclusivity, I think, was a real mistake. Because do you guys remember what I would now call, like, the golden age of Star Wars games, man? That was when, like, so many different companies were making Star Wars games. You were getting so many different kinds of Star Wars games because they were made from different companies. Star Wars Rogue Squadron, Battlefront, Jedi Power Battles, and, of course, the notorious Knights of the Old Republic, made by Bioware. The reason why I think a lot of these Star Wars games felt so different from the other ones was because they were made by different companies and the different companies took them a different direction. Having one company, yes, I know EA has multiple companies like Bioware and Respawn and stuff in its belt, but still having one father company make the games, I think was a big mistake for them to sign that like 10 year contract because imagine how many maybe decent Star Wars games we could have had out by now if they didn't. I'm not saying not use EA as a main part, but if they had simply allowed other people to make Star Wars games as well. Hey, maybe we could even got a sequel to Rogue Squadron, Rogue Squadron 4, who knows? But in any case, so I'm glad at least now that th that another company other than EA is taking a try at a Star Wars game for the first time in a while. But what do you guys think? Are you guys glad that Ubisoft is going to be trying to make this Star Wars title? And since the 10-year deal was made f with Disney from 2013, how do you guys think Ubisoft is able to make this game like do you think that Disney somehow got out of the deal early or something like that? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.